to share with you. First is uh, regarding uh, the health community that we have today. As you are aware that uh, the new variant of uh, COVID-19, uh, which is the Omicron variant, is spreading very fast throughout the country. There are hardly seven or eight states which have not reported a case yet. And Meghalaya is one of them, the Northeast is uh, as a whole. I think only one state has uh, reported one of the cases. But uh, the speed at which it is uh, traveling and uh, transmitting is very alarming. And uh, though most of the reports coming in from everywhere are showing that uh, the uh, hospitalization rate is uh, far lesser compared to the Delta variant, and the death rates are also far lesser compared to the Delta variant. Uh, but the uh, positivity and the uh, overall transmissibility uh, is very, very high. So, therefore, uh, it is a matter of time before which uh, the Omicron variant will get. Also. Uh, it is inevitable. So therefore, uh, as a state government, though the Delta and the second phase or the second wave had uh, given us uh, a lot of push and uh, a lot of uh, infrastructure and arrangements uh, and uh, different uh, investments were made uh, and uh, we are far better uh, prepared compared to what we were before the second wave. We as a government still feel that it is very important for citizens and the government to take precaution. And though this last one year has been very difficult for all of us, uh, we still need to be very careful in the coming days. Keeping in mind the economic activities of the people and uh, with the mind of ensuring that we impact the economic activities to the bare minimum. The government has decided to come up with some restrictions in the next few days uh, in the state of the, in the state of Mega. The details of that will come out uh, very soon, but I will just give you a small brief. Number one, we will be having restrictions on gatherings. Gatherings will be not allowed, uh, and only certain gatherings for certain purposes with very restricted numbers will be allowed, because gatherings is one of the main uh, areas where this, uh, the spread takes place. And so we feel that uh, while we don't have a single case, maybe this is the right time to uh, put some restrictions without affecting public economically. So therefore, the gatherings will be restricted. Uh, we will also have restriction in movements. So we will see some form of restriction on private vehicles coming up. So there will be uh, some restrictions. It will be uh, maybe different in different regions, different districts, but uh, in Shillong uh, city and uh, in most of these castles we will have all even system coming up. Uh, third thing uh, which we will be having uh, also is that uh, the entry uh, to Megalan, apart from the double vaccination, you will be requiring a 72 hours uh, certificate of COVID uh, test and if not, then you will be tested at the entry points. And uh, this is again being done to ensure that uh, there is a, a absolute, uh, um, you know, uh, be very careful while uh, the people who enter the state so that they are fully vaccinated, plus uh, they should be tested in 72 hours or uh, they will be tested at the entry point. Um, apart from that, there will be a few more restrictions. For example, uh, we will be having the curfew uh, will start uh, at 10 o'clock uh, in Shillong City and other districts also, the deputy commissioners will accordingly uh, take the decision. So, 10 o'clock will be the curfew uh, in Shillong. And all these, uh, all these will start from the 5th. I forgot to mention that. So, all these uh, restrictions uh, that are there are going to start from the 5th. There will be a few more which uh, will come out in a proper format and a written statement. Uh, that we issued by the government, and uh, but I just thought I would uh, give you some of the most uh, relevant ones. Uh, and uh, I would once again urge the citizens of our state 
that we know that these restrictions uh, will cause you inconvenience and uh, some of you might feel that uh, well, why are we doing this when we don't have a single case uh, but uh, we need to realize that uh, the last phase was very difficult for us and we do not want to be caught uh, aware, unaware or caught at a time when uh, the wave is hitting us very badly and though the hospitalization rates are less are lesser compared to the other variants uh, if the numbers are large, then uh, in the percentage also will give us the absolute figures will go up. So therefore, uh, though uh, the hospitalization rates will be, percentage will be much lower, uh, that's what the uh, data is showing in other parts of the, of the country and the world. Um, but as I said, if the numbers are very large, and if we have like 4, 5, like 6, like people who are infected, uh, even a 1% uh, hospitalization becomes a very large number. So we have to keep in mind that we need to keep the numbers low uh, and at the end of course I would urge all our citizens to please uh, uh, follow protocols uh, we really need to be careful uh, yes uh, the festive season was there uh, but now that uh, uh, you know, this festive season is over uh, it is important that uh, you know, we put up our guards again we need to ensure that uh, we don't uh, let our guards down we need to ensure that uh, we follow uh, appropriate uh, protocol uh, COVID uh, protocols and behavior. So my sincere request to all the citizens would be to please take this seriously. If you are able to control things uh, in the next few weeks, then we may be in much better position uh, compared to many other parts of uh, the world and the, and the country also.